High Ground Gaming. A big thank you to our sponsor, Gray Matter Gaming. Check out their mats. They're pretty cool. Welcome to High Ground Gaming. Really excited today to be playing with my friend Kyle. Kyle is actually one of the uh, most influential players I've played with because he kind of taught me the higher aspects of the game after I learned the basics. So thanks for being here, Kyle. Hey, no problem. Um, cool matchup. We got OBR for the first time on the channel and then another Beast Claw arrangement. I'll go over my list in a minute here, but Kyle, take it away. Sure. So I took uh, OBR, the, the classic Petrifex Elite, so I'll be ignoring that first point of rend. Um, and then I took it in a one drop battalion with one extra for the Mortec Crawler, the extra one. Um, I know Mortec Crawlers are not generally top tier right now, but I have a, a theory about them. I want to see if it proves true. Um, so I have a one block of 20 more tech. I have two fives of Death Riders. I have one block of six Stalkers, Arcan, um, the Liege Cavalos, and like I said, two more tech crawlers. Um, I'm in Petrifex, so that will mean my general, who is the Liege Cavalos, will have the Godbone plate armor and the plus two to his wound profile for um, his command trait. What's the Godbone do? I, um, I ignore the first point of damage that he takes in That's any phase. Okay, cool. I, I got caught by that one on a blood vulture in my yeah. game with Rob. <laughs> um, the follow-up is I have a and the spell, the Bone Tithe Shrieker, so we'll see if I can get that to cast from Arkin. What does the Bone Tithe Shrieker do? So if you're within range of it, all of my attacks into you are plus one to hit. Oh, um, nice. And then the follow-up is if you're within range of it, um, you cannot use... Um, Inspiring presence? Inspiring presence, yes. Cool. That does not really apply here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's more for the plus one to hit for me. That's what I'm after, so. Nice. So, going on to Beast Claw, we've got a boulder head list again. I'm having fun experimenting with it. I'm going to play in a, a tournament, and I'm going to play some version of what I've been trying on the channel lately. So, plus two wounds to the two big guys, and today i got two frost swords on stone horns. So, 17 wounds, three up save. Going to be fun to play. Three uh, units of Morinfang, they're in Bounty Hunters, because uh, it was the only battalion that fit my list. <laughs> so uh, those are the battle line. And then for a fun experiment here, I got Big Drog Fort Kicka. So Gatebreaker Mega Gargant. Um, one of the new things that's added, he got the same thing that the regular one did, where you can't use Inspiring Presence when you're within three of them. Terror. Not that it matters, because I don't take Battleshock tests. Yeah, so doesn't matter, but, <laughs> but it's there, so. Yeah. Just something I'm reminding myself of. Sure, sure. Uh, my general is going to be the one with the blue horns here. He is voice of the avalanche, so he can give commands anywhere on the table, as long as he can see my unit. And then he gets one free command per game. So it's a once per game ability. Oh, once per game. Okay. Once per game. Uh, he has the arcane tome with flaming weapon. And then this guy, um, and then his mount trait is rock main elder, so he's minus one to wound always. This one has Metal Cruncher, which does nothing in this game. Because <laughs> it only works on three up saves and better. Uh, I take that back. My actual, my Liege Cavalos, he does have a three up save. Does he? He's okay. the only guy. Well, good to know. I might have I might have switched him over in deployment, but it's okay. I don't know that ro that, that Metal Cruncher is going to matter this game anyway. So we're all good. As you can see, we're deployed. Kyle out dropped me. This is a six drop list, so he gets to tell me who's going first. Um, I think, based on your movement, I think I'm going to let you take the first turn. And so best of luck to you, sir. Yeah, let's have some fun. Absolutely. Battle plan for today is going to be close to the chest. So we got this L deployment. As you can see, he's over there. My army is over here. And score one, score two, and then score more. And then the trick with this one is the alpha objective. So each player turn, not each round, you pick an, the player who's not, or whose turn it isn't, <laughs> is the one who picks an alpha objective. So Kyle, which one's going to be your alpha for the first um, round? I'm going to do the one I'm sitting on back here. I think it's going to be pretty tough to get to. So. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, not getting that one. <laughs> and then you have a pregame ability you have to do. Yeah, so... For my, I don't get necessarily command points. I get what's called relentless discipline points. Um, so in that regard, um, I get one point for each of my heroes, and these uh, these effectively work like command points. Um, however, they're only for Asiarch Bone Reaper commands, um, and so I can't use the actual command abilities from the normal game. Um, but anyways, I get one for each of my heroes. I get one extra for one of my heroes being a liege, so that'll give me three so far. I get two for taking the bottom of the turn, and then what I do is every hero phase, 
at the start, I roll dice equal to the amount of units I have on the board, and every six I get a bonus point. Cool. So in this regard, I will get two bonus points for that. Awesome. And if you guys hear background noise today, we're actually having a fun day. We've got multiple games going down in the basement, just kind of an end of year ga Warhammer gaming bash. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and uh, let's get this game started. Battle round one. Fight. All right, Beast Claw, turn one. Battle tactic is going to be against the odds. I'm going to use this stone horn to hold this objective here. And then from there, heroic action, I'm going to use my voice of the avalanche to get an extra command point on a four. And I do. Nice. Kyle, what is yours? Um, I'm going to turn this guy into a wizard. We measured and I'm almost exactly 30 inches away to that guy there. So I'll try to get the, the unbind on him. Cool. And then let's go to that. So I've got Mystic Shield on a plus one. Get it on a nine. And you got it. <coughs> cool. Mystic Shield it is. I think we're going to put it on the big guy for this round. Um, holy within 12? Is it holy? Yes. I thought it was just within. Well, maybe you're right. Oh, we'll double check. I got a handy dandy cheat sheet here. So, um, do, 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 do. Mystic Shield, range of 12. Nice, perfect. Pick one friend in the unit, holy. Oh, holy within range. Oh, yeah, you're, you are right. So, I did not do that correctly, so it will not go on him. Let's put it on this stone horn. Who is not also holy within 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's early in the morning, guys. So it'll go on um, himself. Sure. So he's got Mystic Shield, and I have no other Hero Face stuff. It's weird. <laughs> not used to that. Uh, I learned how to play the game playing Seraphon. So I'm usually like, I have 18 things to do. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you after movement. All right, back from movement, super exciting turn here, playing real cagey, just because I have not really have anything that makes sense to do other than take some points. So holding three objectives, these guys were able to get here, didn't have to run anything, and then uh, he's able to get here, he didn't run either, so he'll be able to shoot after I'm done explaining this, just push these guys forward a little. These guys are achieving my, or this guy's achieved my battle tactic here, so got them all, scored my battle tactic, I'll have five points at the end of the round. Just have to really do the shooting from the big man. So, 18 inches, let's pull him up. I have not shot a gatebreaker. It's one shot. In a long time. Is it one? It is. One boulder? So. Yeah, you're a much uh, more fluent. So it's just gonna be a hair out of the general there, but- I'm just gonna hit the riders in yeah, the front. Do that or the more tech guard? Nope, want the riders in the front. Copy. So, um, threes and twos. I don't think it's worth a command point on one. I mean, what, they're two wounds apiece? And you bring Three some... Three wounds apiece. Three wounds apiece? Yes. Oh, so I can only kill one. Um, can you bring more tech back? I can bring more tech back, and I can bring... <clears throat> I can heal How wounds. many? I can actually bring one of these back, so it's three. How, you can bring three? Three back. more tech... Three of, of up to three units, I believe, from Arkham. Huh. Okay. Maybe I should have pushed them forward a little so I could get to the general. Oh, well. Uh, we'll shoot the more tech because that's the only thing that's going to make any sense. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, three? No. Cool. Easy mess. Great debate for nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. The, nobody else has any shooting in range. The pistols are 12 inches, so we're good there. And that's my turn. We'll be back with OBR turn one. All right. So we're back with the Ossiarch Bone Reapers turn one. Um, I'm going to take um, against the odds, and I'm going to select the Mortec Crawler to stand on this point right here. <laughs> um, Arkan will have three spells to cast. Against the odds, you can do it? Yeah. It's yeah, a great, great it's name. It's going to be tough. Um, <laughs> I will also do my heroic action, which will be for him to get a bonus point, so he'll be able to do a Relentless Discipline point for free. Um, and then I will get to roll eight dice still, because I have eight units on the field, and every six will give me a bonus point. Um, for one extra, so I will have a total of eight usable by anybody and one extra from the um, Liege Cavalos. Uh, moving into casting, Arkin has plus two to his casting rules. Um, so let's start with um, spending a point for him to increase the range of all of his spells in four, by six inches, um, and we will try to cast Mystic Shield. I got a... I can't do anything about it. Yeah, I got a you. 13 or something. Um, he will put Mystic Shield on these uh, Cavalos Death Riders here, and with it now being an 18-inch range, they will be wholly within. Um, so they will have Mystic. I will do 
um, reinforced battle shields, um, which is a 24 inch, so a 30 now. Um, I will get that with a 13, or I'm sorry, a 12. Um, and I will put that on the um, Kevlos Death Riders up front here. What does that one do? Um, so that will be a five up ward against mortal wounds. Cool. Um, and then following that, I will go ahead and I will try to throw out the Bone Tithe Shrieker, which is on a um, f five or better, which I got a six to a seven, eight. Um, and that will drop. Oh, one thing while you're looking at roll up, we forgot to mention this is the proving ground, which is why I went out there to grab that to get three objectives versus just holding these three. So I just want to make sure people understood what's going on there. So that will drop now 18 and it is predatory, so it'll be able to move eight. If you just want to move it now, I'm good with that. Sure. 18. Go there and then it'll be able to move eight and we will go. Oops. This direction, just try to get it midfield here. Okay, um, and that should do it for my hero phase. Cool. Oh, um, the shrine. I don't think I have anybody within range. Um, I did actually, yeah, 36. I'm gonna put um, Curse of Ignorance on your wizard. What's that do? I think it makes him minus one to cast, but I think it is on a two or better. That's not so hard to do. Um, pun punishment of ignorance within 36, so on a two or better. And ha! The one! <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay. I was like, yeah, that's not so hard to do. <laughs> Easy. Moving it? Um, yeah, we're good. Let's move it. So into my movement phase here, uh, I move these Death Riders up, and I move the Mortec Guard over, so I will have um, seven models on this to his five counting from the, the Mega Gargan here. Um, and that's Drog, so he doesn't have the Might Makes Right. Yep, uh, Mercenary. The extra. Um, I moved Arkin up here um, just to kind of be in the, the middle of everything. Um, the being uh, the reason is, is that he will now be able to potentially Mystic Shield these Mortec Guard or in, um, empower weapons on those guys over there. And then the follow-up is on the other side. He will also be able to empower their weapons. Um, I just kind of scooched the the one crawler up on the right side over here to tow in on an objective, and then I didn't move this guy so I can score my... Um, Kyle's right, odds. camera left. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. Um, Easier if you just point. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, I also moved these Death Riders up to threaten this objective over here, um, and we'll see if I need to. Um, I don't need to take it yet. Just me having this one will give me three to Sean's two. And that will give me full score. So because of L proving groundo. Yep. So that will be what I'm after. Um, I believe that's the proper Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> um, moving into shooting, I think. Okay. Let's shoot. All right. So I'm going to shoot with this Mortec crawler first. He has three shots. Um, they hit on twos generically and wound on threes. There's no rend on these. Um, so let's go ahead and shoot it's got a 36 inch range i'm going to shoot these mornfang right here with three what's shots. the damage um five right now yeah we'll all defense sure because those are the ones with the plus one hit because of this yeah i mean i'm hitting on twos already so, yeah, so, so it doesn't, doesn't even matter. really matter okay. um, yeah. but you can absolutely all out defense. i'll be saving on threes for sure uh, cock dice here two hits and then these wound on threes uh, wounding with both cool threes to save save, yes. save both all right and then i will be shooting with this one i'm going to spend a point on this guy mm -hmm. to give it a bonus shot Ooh. so it'll be four and what i'm going to do is i'm going to shoot back there at the orange ones okay and checking range 36 we're good to go yeah they're pretty much board wide <laughs> <laughs> so hitting on twos, it'll be everything. Nice. And wounding on threes. Uh, three saves for you. So this will be on fours. Take ten. Ten damage. So that'll kill one dude and leave me on two wounds left on the other. Okay. 
So six here, four taken. Nice. And then I don't have any other shooting. Uh, Charging? Let's see. I don't think so. I figured. <laughs> I don't think I need to. I don't think it does me any good. Um, I don't kill this guy when I swing into him, so I'm just going to kind of wait. Um, we'll see. I have battle shields up here, so they can potentially save mortal wounds. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So, good. score five? Yeah. All right. So, let's, let's get my fancy scoreboard out until we figure out how to do technology. We're a little uh, backwards there, so um, let me see if I can get this the right way on the camera. Um, actually, this is the right way. So OBR five, Beast Claw five, going into round two. Big roll off. See what happens if we got OBR double turn or what? Two. Uh, two. So that goes to you. That'll go to me. Uh, I need to think it over. So we'll be back and let you know what I decided. Battle round two. All right, going into round two, I had the choice. I gave the turn away, so it's going to be OBR turn two. And then for a proving ground, I chose this one. Um, kind of seems counterintuitive since I have a guy over there, but my idea here is that these three will be easier to hold than that one where all his stuff is. And I want to burn that early so that it can no longer be picked later in the game in case I do need to take it at a later turn. Sure. So going into OBR turn two. And the prime objective? Um, like be this one. one. Okay. Um, so I get three um, Relentless Discipline points for my heroes, one for the top of the turn, I roll eight dice. Getting two extra, I'm sorry, three extra. Ooh, big roll. Um, that'll put me at seven. Um, I'm going to get a extra point with this guy that I can spend. And then uh, you'll be at three. Um, I'm choosing gaining momentum, and I'm going to try to kill that. Makes and sense. more objectives than you. Two wounds um, remaining. And then it's hero phase. Um, let's go ahead and do the um, shrine again. Mm -hmm. And we'll try to put it on the... Uh, Does that, when does that go off? In the hero phase. And it'll so last we, until my next We still got to do phase. heroic actions and whatnot? Uh, yeah, so I did mine. Oh, okay. I didn't understand. Yep, I got my point here. Sorry. I'm not used to the Bone Reaper one. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do heroic willpower. And I can't give it to an already wizard, so it'll be from this guy, so he'll be able to unbind there. So sure. We'll go ahead now. Okay. Uh, so, Curse of Ignorance into the wizard there. Mm -hmm. um, I will this okay. time. So, is it minus one to minus unbinding? One to casting, two? dispelling, and unbinding rolls, okay. I believe. Let me confirm that. Punishment of Ignorance. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do was unbind this, so that was why I was asking. Sure. Because so, that goes off in the hero phase, right? Um, Where, it is. Whereas it's at the dispelling start. goes at the start? In you, I'm sorry, this is in your hero phase, so you are, you'll are you be able so to do that. So I'll still have my this. plus one to yes, do sir. this? Okay. Let's cast on a five. Got it. Well, that's, that's high enough. Yes. Okay. So that's not coming back this turn. Um, and then again to yep, the... Yep, so now it is minus one yep. to its casting. All right. Um, so moving on, let's do my casting now. And then um, I have one unbind here with no bo no bonuses. Sure, sure. I'm going to spend a point with Arkin to increase the spell range. Um, so with that, I will go ahead and do empower Natterite weapons. Is that the plus one to hit or it is, plus one to your rend? This changes to a five up for the exploding sixes. That's what the empower does. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what you roll. For a seven, eight, nine. Nine. You have plus two on everything. Yep. And then what do you, you have? What's the shield one do? That's five ward against mortals. Five ward against mortal wounds. And then probably mystic shield. Um, I'll try this one because <laughs> your other rolls last time were ridiculous. Sure. I don't know if this is right or not, but we'll try it. So, uh, nope. All that debating for nothing. So fives are better on their hit rolls. We'll go to a uh, an additional hit. Cool. And then we will go and... Um, we will empower shields. What's 30 now, right? Um, this is 30, yes. Yeah. So six, seven, eight. Yep. Um, that'll be there. And then let's go and um, let's do a mystic shield for a nine, 10, 11. All right. And we'll put that, let's put that in the more tech guard. 
Cool. Now that they're holding within 18. Out of curiosity, is his expel extension on all his spells or is it just on Bone It is Reaper's all spells. spells. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So even like Arcane Bolt. Yeah, um, so it extends it. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, so that one on them? Yes. So they'll have um, Empowered Weapons and Mystic Shield. These guys will have Empowered Shields. So five up ward on Mortal Wounds. Yep, so I already got that one there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, moving on, I think that's all I have in the hero phase. So we've done my battle tactic, I've done heroic actions, you've done yours, I've cast my spells, I think we're good to go. Let's do it. So in my movement phase, I spent the point to go f make these guys a 15 inch move. And the reason being is he now can't redeploy back off of this objective because I've made it to where he's pinched between the building and um, yeah, and we were discussing that because I should have, in turn one, redeployed him when I had the chance, yeah. which would have prevented this from happening had I rolled at least a two. And then we discussed also the long shanks ability of the Mega Gargants, which unfortunately this is a four and a half inch tall building, otherwise he'd be able to just move across it. Yep. Um, but I moved over with these guys now to try to make a charge into him. Um, if I do so, there's quite a bit of attacks that can come this way, um, and they're exploding on fives and sixes, so pretty good. That'll be pretty good. Um, just kind of scoot, scooted the Mortec Crawler over, and the reason is to keep within 12 of the hero here. Um, and then I move the Stalkers up towards the middle here to respond to wherever they need to go, or at least be a little bit better. Um, I move the Death Riders over here um, into cover to give them plus one on their armors, or on their rolls, and um, to be counting as one model on this objective. And then otherwise, Arkin moved up, or moved back a little ways, um, just to kind of still be in support role um, within a 24 inch bubble. Um, everything else is, uh, is good here. So I've got one model on there. If I can kill the gaining momentum target back there with shooting, then I'll be in, in good shape. Cool. Otherwise, that's it. What's next? Shooting. Let's do it. So let's start with this guy here. Three shots. He's going there. Uh, I have a chance to stop a battle tactic. Do I use it? I mean, that one's got three shots, three and shots. then you're putting your four somewhere else, probably into the Mega Gargant would be my guess. Oh, boy. If I can roll threes like I did last time, yeah, this works out. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. I, I don't know what's right, but I'm going to do it. All uh, defense. Hitting on twos. Oh, there's the ones. And wounding on threes. And wound. All right. Let's see if I can roll a three. I do nice. it. Now the other crawler's got to shoot at it. Yep. Uh, I'm going to spend the point here um, to give this crawler a bonus attack. And he will have fours, and he's going to shoot there. Ooh. Hits all with hits. all of them. And threes to wound. Uh, two wound for you. Come on threes. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you here. Oh, it's a Not two. Not quite. Nice. All right, so that'll score my battle tactic now. Um, it'll give me four objectives, <clears throat> um, regardless of how the charges go here. Um, and then we're gonna go into charges. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with these more tech guard. Um, they need a That'd have been fun for me if you had failed that, because oh, then you have great. to charge here. Yeah, I have oh, to Oh, but you, you ran, right? No, I just, uh, yes, yeah, I did. Yeah, you did, I so did. you wouldn't have been able yeah, to. Yeah, just to get that extra bonus, so. Um, they have a five, they need a five to charge, so I need a four on the dice, because they have a plus one from their banners. Cool. Uh, let's see. That'll do a it. seven to an eight. So, I'm just going to try to get as many guys in here as possible. Um, the thing I'm keeping conscientious of is being within 12 of him to receive his command point. Sure if I decide to. Um, so eight on so the charge. Where, where's his 12? We'll just um, mark. It's basically to the building. Oh, so to the as long oh, as I don't go good. Too, too far, I'll be okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna try to keep as many dudes on the point as well. To makes, up. makes sense. These guys are Galician veterans, right? They are not because they are not battle line. Um, I don't have a Mortison as my general. Oh, that's how they become battle line. Yeah. Okay. So then it's just the Mortec Guard. Mortec Guard and the Riders are. Um, oh, okay. They're not Galatian veterans, but they are my battle line. 
Yeah, but b bounty hunters only matters on the veteran. Correct. So. Uh, no, battle, er, is it? Unless I'm crazy. No, you're right, you are correct. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Of all the people, we should know the yeah. rules. <laughs> How long have you been playing, Kyle? Um, I started Warhammer Fantasy about six months before Age of Sigmar came out. Wow. Um, so that was 2015, I think. Nice. Um, so you're an OG. Yeah, so before points and when nothing Back mattered. when you could just do whatever you wanted? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was really fun, but it was there's no structure to it, so things got a little lopsided at some points. Um, okay, charging with the Death Riders here. They have the same plus one. Uh, uh, they don't need it. <laughs> 13. Just make this annoying, I suppose. Okay, that'll work. Um. Yeah, that's it. All Good right. Enough for me. Combat it is. Yes, sir. So you'll have. Uh, am I going to do a monstrous, ra monstrous rampage? Uh, can I use Roar to stop anything? Does you it work can, with yeah. you? Yeah, so Roar can stop their shield wall and me giving them the bonus attack. Um, Roar could. Let's do oh, that. Nothing in here, really. Let's do that. Sure, sure. Okay. No, it's a one. Okay. Um, so I think with a Mystic Shield up. There's no Mystic Shield, but I will all out defense. Or are you talking about for yourself? Yeah, for myself. I'm, I'm debating whether or not, because they can't receive both the the bonus attacks mm -hmm. and Shield Wall. Yeah. Um, and I went a little too far away with him, which is fine. Um, so I think I just try to kill him. And hope for the best. I do have Mystic Shield, so I'll be at a three, ignoring that first point of rend. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to kill him. So I'm gonna spend a point here. I will all out defense and give him a or give them a bonus attack. Let's do it. Uh, you're at three. So do I save it for a ren though instead? Um, Does the ren go off after? No, I'm I'm debating. I'm debating. Oh. Because it's it's there's three options. There's shield wall plus one attack or, or plus one to your plus rend. one to my ren. Technically I'm, minus one to your end? <laughs> yes, technically minus one. An additional minus one? one? Yes, sir. Wasn't that zero? Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'll just stick with attacks. I'll just put a weighted dice on you, I suppose. Um, okay, so let's pile in. That'll probably be it. Everybody else is going to be out of range, so we'll just like, do that. So with that said, two, four. It's like four that aren't in. Uh, yeah, like so the, 16. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, sir. Yeah, if I had redeployed forward, you would have got the whole unit in. Yeah, I think so. So I negated some attacks and by, then not, the follow by up not redeploying. Is still within 12 here, so I will spend the point as I pulled away. Mm -hmm. um, and we will swing with my, sh with my attacks. So each Mortec Guard makes two. Um, I'm hitting on threes, and I'm wounding on fours. Cool. So 16 times two is 30... 32? Two. 33 for the champion. Uh, Lots of dice. 10. Just going to roll 16 twice, or...? Um, sure. It's up to you. If you can fit them all in your hands, go for it. <laughs> I, don't I don't think I should be doing things like that. So here's 15. I'm sorry, here's 30. Oh, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, I can do it. Why not? All at once. Yes. 36. For the glory of Nagash. 2, 32, 33. Cool. 33 dice. Um, so as I said, Threes and fours. You can roll them in your box. Yeah, just let's to keep them kind of organized. See if we can keep it uh, right there. Sure. Yeah, that's on the camera. Um, fives and sixes explode. Cool. So let's see how we go. 
<laughs> um, they will have the bonus attack, so I'll need to do another 16 on top of this. Sure. Okay, and then fives and sixes separated. Four, let's see, six, ten. Ten total there, so I'll add ten dice back in. Maybe that two is out, so that's fine. So 19 armor saves so far, and then I've got the 16 extra dice to roll for you. Let's do it. Ten. Fifteen. And sixteen. So 19 so far? 19 so far. Ooh, not great. No, I've seen you roll better. Yeah. Um, so putting back, though... Four of those, mm -hmm. and then rolling these for fours. Nineteen's pretty good. That's not bad on your first one. Uh, four more on top of that for twenty-three. Well, we'll live at least through the first we'll barrage. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, threes. One, two. Three, four, uh, seven. Yep. Nice. I didn't good miss roll. any. Cool. Yeah, that was a good roll. Good roll. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> and we got seven here. And then, do you have anything like buffing their defense on the horses? I do not. I might just want to go after them. Other than them. the five up mortal wound save, but <clears throat> that doesn't really matter here. What their, what's their save? Four? Fours. I think I just try and get rid of the horses. Sure. So I don't take any more damage. Yeah, that's good. And then idea. deal with the more tech later. I agree. So let's do that. <clears throat> so we got Almighty Stomp. So what is the stomp? Plus one to hit. If it's a wound characteristic of three or less. So this will be twos and threes. Two attacks. Twos and threes. And that's nothing. Death grip, threes, and twos. So we've got one at minus two. Minus two, and this is on the horses, sir. Yes. All attacks all on the horses? All attacks on the horses. All right, so minus two, I'll ignore that first point, so minus one mm -hmm. on a um, four up, I'll be at a five. Bailing. D6. Six. Six, nice. Nice roll. Sixes for um, ward saves. Take Saving one. So I take five of those. Okay. And then Fort Crush, Fort Crusher Flail. Yes, sir. It's going to be fours and threes. I don't think there's anything else special that he does. Because um, I know he has like an additional ability, which mm -hmm. will be at the end of combat. And then you're not in a cover or a garrison, so it's going to be fours and threes. Yes, sir. Big roll. And threes. Three of them at minus three. Minus three into the horses will be sixes or better. Not a one. Uh, that'll be 12 total. Four okay. damage each. Six, nine, and 12. Um, so I rolled those words already. These are these. Mm -hmm. uh, saving one. So it should be probably the rest of the horses. Two, three, and four, five. All horses. Cool. Mission accomplished. And then that'll be the end of the combat phase, correct? Uh, it should be. So this is his special mercenary ability. At the yes. end of the combat phase, pick an enemy unit within three. Roll a number of dice equal to the number of models in the unit that are within three. For each six, you suffer a mortal wound. Nice. Should yeah. be probably everybody. Probably. Uh, yeah. So everybody. 20? 20. Wow. I didn't even realize he did this. Nice. He's got a <laughs> stinky breath, I think. Uh... Grievous Halitosis. 
He has never picked his teeth clean. His breath is so foul that it can stun an ox at 10 paces. <laughs> yeah. So sixes do mortal wounds. That's nice. <clears throat> so three. <laughs> Um, sixes for wards. Not a one. So I think that I'm perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm in a good position bad. going into bad. the next turn. I agree. And then you score five? Five. All right. Let's get our fancy scoreboard out. Round two, OBR. One, two, three, four, and five. So five to, well, actually ten to five going into Beast Claw turn two. Round two for Beast Claw. We're going to go with Desecrate Their Lands. So I'm going to hold this thingy here. Should be very easy, easy to do. Even without a run, the Mornfang can get there. Um, heroic action. I have one command point remaining. Then I get plus one for the turn because I still have my general. So I'll have two command points. And I don't need to unbind anything. So let's go with... Um, I don't, do I need to finest hour him? I don't know that it matters yet. So let's just go for another command point. Uh, we'll do it from the voice of the avalanche. And I get nice. it. Nice. Um, I'm going to roll my seven dice now. Yep. Ooh, and I'm three. For that. Yeah, you are. So you got six? Six, and then I'm going to get a bonus point here. What's your heroic? The bonus point. Oh, the bonus point. Okay. All right, um, just got a spell to cast. So I'm gonna go with Mystic Shield again. No plus one, it's been negated. Oh, that's cocked. And that'll be a six. Uh, I will try to stop it here. I stop it. All right, no Mystic Shield. And uh, that's my hero face. I'm, I'm very liking how simple this army is. <laughs> Brain don't have to remember much. <laughs> Let's move some stuff. All right, end of movement. This stone horn moved over here. He's going to try and take care of these death riders. I think he can accomplish that. Uh, these Mornfang bump back a little bit in case he wants to push forward. Um, make it basically impossible to charge. They're outside of 12, so can't even roll the charge. These guys accomplished my battle tactic. They're just going to chill there. They're going to shoot their pistols in a minute. I didn't need to run them. The stone horn moved up because we're going to try and get rid of the Mortec, and that'll make life a little easier for me moving forward. So, yes, going to shooting, let's start with the two pistols. Um, pistols will shoot into my man in the back over there. Sure thing. I believe these are fours and threes, if I remember right. Yep, two shots. Um, he's got that ignore the first point of damage, just so we're aware. Yep, cool. That's not a big deal here. I don't know that we're even getting anything through. Sure, sure. Oh, that's cocked. Miss, that's Both. cocked too. <laughs> we'll just reroll. All right, so hits one and wounds with one at minus one. All right, uh, he'll have a three up save. I'll ignore that minus one because of um, Petrifex sure. Elite. And cool. And we'll save it. All right, and then we got one boulder. Boulder is hitting on, was it threes and twos? Threes and twos. So it's going into the guys in front of him. I can't. I don't have to shoot at them, right? If I remember right, I can pick a different Him? target. Yeah. It's a shoot. It's a missile weapon, so you do absolutely. Yeah, because he's in combat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Duh. Brain's not working good today. Uh, twos. Got it. Minus three. Uh, Mystic Shield, and ignoring that point of rent, so I'll be minus one to a five-up save. Saving. Nice. Wow, that's that's brutal. All right, let's go to charges. So got the stone horn. Yes, sir. What you going to roll? <laughs> that one. He's got a plus one to his uh, charge innately, but it does not count yeah. towards the mortal wounds. Because okay. the mortal wounds is the unmodified roll, which is a nine. Yes. So he will get in. Um, he's just going to go straight forward. Sure. Ta-da. And then we got to roll some dice. Yes, sir. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So fours will do mortal wounds. Uh, that's nice. a good roll. Well, it's decent. Four. Four of them? Nope, five. Five. This, this one's up here on this base. Sixes are better. Uh, how about two? So at least three. And then we got this stone horn over here charging. The six. And then six dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fours. Um, two. Two. 
they did not get the shield, so sixes, saving one, taking one. Not charging with the Mornfang. They need to do their job and just sit there. Um, this one should be towed onto the objective. Sure, sure. I don't know how he fell off. <clears throat> um, yeah, we're going to start with the big man himself right there. Absolutely. I think he can do more damage than anybody else. Uh, monsters Rampages. And yeah, we got, we got multiple Monsters Rampages, so um, thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Uh, I will roar with my man here. All right, big one. Let's go. I need a shield wall badly. Nope. nope. Uh, it is roared. Okay. And then we're going to do the special book one with him. Sure. So 3d6 move. So this will be 10, 13. Nice. Um, does that give me enough to fly over and back? Sure sure does, I think. How, how far is that? Gotcha. Seven, and then six would put me here. Sure. So I'll be able to fly over both. Yes, sir. And then land like this. Nice. Which will drag him into combat. Okay. But I think the mortal wounds are cool. <laughs> We're just in a, in a tournament. I probably don't want to pull him in, but he's not. I mean, it, it is what it your is. Your stonehorn will be fine. I'm it's sure. fine. Um, two on the big guy. Yes. Nope. What's a one? Oh. And then two on them. Yes. Four d three. Two. Two mortal wounds. Sixes are better. <clears throat> nope. And then over here, can I stop them? You can. Okay. So on a two. Yes. D three. So you got two ward saves on the horses. Two wards on the horses over there. Sixes are better. Hey, saving. Oh man, you saved a lot on those. Yeah, quite nice. a few. This, this, that was, that's okay. All right, um, we will all out attack with the stone horn. Okay. And then we'll pile in. I'm gonna pile back this way, which might take him out of combat. Yeah, man. Yep. Okay, so now he's out of combat. Great. So, got a chance to do a little bit of mortals. Kind of fun. Yeah. Um, so the Frost Spear is the first attack. Um, on the charge, I get plus one damage to my Rock Hard Horns. And then on this one, um, hit rolls, he's going to be hitting on twos because all at attack. So got two here. And if I roll a six, something will happen. I do not. On a six, you would have been minus one attack. Okay. But you are not, so it's going to be minus one rend, which will be negated. Okay. Uh, two of them? Yep. I will be at a three up save. Taking both. Uh, six damage. Ouch. Total? Or yes. Each? Why are you at a three? Hmm? Why are you at a three? Mystic, Mystic shield? shield? Okay. Yeah, so six damage there. And then we got punches and kicks. This will be twos and threes. And threes. One, no rend. Uh, threes. Saved. And then rock hard horns. This will be six attacks. Threes and threes. We got three of them at minus two. Two, so that'll put me back to my four up. Yep. Saving one. Five, four damage each. Four each. And then we've got crushing hooves, which is D6 attacks. Five attacks. Okay. So this will be twos and twos. And twos. <laughs> three. Three of them. Minus one, so you'll be saving on threes. Threes. Take one. That is D3 damage. Three. Nice. Okay. These are wards. Not looking good. That's Two. probably it. Six, ten. Those were sixes there. I flipped them. That's my fault. Yeah, that's okay. You had two of them. Uh, that'll do it. Wow. Stone, lore, stone horns are insane. The frost lords. The murder horn. Yeah, it just murders things. Even without Metal Cruncher. Like, it doesn't even need Metal Cruncher. If anything, in my oh. opinion, the minus one to wound is better. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, you got your horses over here when you're done. I do. Okay. Um, so, let's see. We are in cover, which is good news. Um, there's nothing else to do over there. I can't give them a command. I can give them a rend command. Which they're, is not, they're not roared. No, I know. I okay. Know. But I, I don't have, like, a shield wall or anything, you know what I'm saying? Oh, gotcha. So, you gotta try to figure out how to squeeze some attacks in here. So this is the champion. This will be, I'm gonna get three guys. It's gonna be as much as I knew with that, that gap. Um, so they make three attacks a piece with the rider. The champion will make a fourth. 
These will be on threes and fours. Um, six is a hit, will explode. Yep. Um, let's see how it goes. And two sixes? Two sixes. I'll add two dice back in. Fours to wound. So, seven? Seven. And then I'll have horse bites. Okay. Hold on one second, though, because I'm going to probably push the rend up by a point. Okay. On them. You do that after attack? Yes. I can actually do it after you roll your saves. Oh, really? Yeah. You want me to wait? Or um, you want me to roll? If, if, you do, if you're going to do it let after. Me, let me get the horse bites out of the way, and then we'll... Oh, you do it after all your attacks. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be three apiece. I'm sorry, two apiece. Um, six dice, and these will be on fours and threes. I should have been all out defensing here. Um, do you mind if I do That's that? That's fine. You're good. I forgot I had the command points for it. Uh, one extra there. Okay, so I've got seven and then so an it's eight. eight. Um, but roll this one separately because this one will be a single point of rent if I decide. Right. It's a one. Okay, that's good. So we're good so far. I'm not going to spend the point yet. It's end of the round, so. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. I might as well. Yeah. So it'll be two rent. Two rent, so twos goes to fours. Yep. So you'll push through four total. Okay. That they're one damage? Yes, sir. And then I'll have ward saves, so fives. And I will not make any wards. I don't have the six rolling power that you do there, but I think I did enough good stuff. I'm not worried about it. I agree. And then we got the Stonehorn, which there's no need to pile in, so we're just going to leave him there. Amen. And then this guy does not have plus one to hit. He still has the Frost Spear, but uh, you already attacked, so that doesn't matter. And he will get plus one to his... Damage on his crushing hooves and rock hard horns. Nice. So actually, there was an additional damage over there. Not oh. that it matters. But <laughs> <laughs> so my guys are extra dead. They're extra dead. Uh, just saying that to remind myself. So sure. all hit on the spear. Wounds, all wound on the spear at minus one. So just be a regular save. Uh, I mean, cover, and I ignore the minus one, so I'll be at a three, actually. Okay. Uh, it's taking one. Three damage so far. Okay. Punches and kicks, threes. Hits with everything. Threes. Uh, I was to do Wounds with one. Then. No rend. Okay. Threes. Failing. One damage. Okay. Rock hard horns. So we've got fours now because I don't have plus one to hit. And threes. Uh, hit and wound with three at minus two. Uh, so I'll be back to my native save of four up. Okay. Taking all. Those are 12 damage total because they're four each. Yep. D6 on the hooves. Uh, rolled a six. I've been rolling hot on that lately. Nice. Like for the uh, number of attacks. Threes. Yep. Um, miss one. And then twos. And that is five at minus one. So you're three up safe. Five at minus one. Threes. Uh, saving all of those. Okay. So these will be my awards here. Sixes are better. No, not great. No. Uh, so horse dead. Two, three, four, five. See ya. Man. Easy scoop. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. He's not glued on. All right. He lived. He lived. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say we had a successful turn there. Yeah, that's good. Accomplished my battle tactic. Took uh, three objectives. And I hold this one, so uh, that would be my fourth objective to hold more than you. Mm -hmm. So I will score five as well. Yes. So we've got Beast Claw, round two. One, two, three, four, four, and five. So we got a tied game going into round three. And here's the big roll off. Priority. Four. Four and four. Tie goes to me. It does. It's your choice, mm -hmm. sir. Do you want a minute to think about it? Um, I think I need to take it, otherwise it's going to not go well for I would the rest agree. of the game. I would agree. Um, so we'll be going to the OBR round three. We'll be back with the hero phase. Yeah. Battle round three. So I'm going to take the turn here. I will get four command points, two for him, one for the uh, for Arkin, and then one for the turn. Then I will have five dice now for the amount of units I have left. Going for sixes, getting one. So we got five total dice. My heroic action, I will get a um, free command point with Arkin. Uh, I'll go for an unbind. Okay. And then I will take um, eye for an eye 
as my battle tactic. Um, and then from here, let's go ahead and do, let's see, have 18, no, I do have curse there. 18? Yeah, you might have, eight, you might have 18. Oh, no, you don't. Um, it's 20. So I'll just do um, Curse of Ignorance on this guy again. On a two up. Yep. Nope. <laughs> it's twice you've rolled a one. Twice in a row. All right. Um, and then let's go ahead and do casting. So <clears throat> Arcan will go ahead and do the... Um, drain Vitality. Cast on a six. Um, and this is after I spend the point to increase my range. Sorry. Yep. Uh, so six, seven, eight, nine. 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 What does this do? Um, so this is going to be um, pick a target within 18, so now 24, mm -hmm. and um, visible, which you will be. Yep. And it will be, um, you will re-roll unmodified hit rolls of six and re-roll unmodified save rolls of six. Yeah, we'll try and unbind that with the plus one guy since you didn't get off your thing. Sure. Come on, big roll. Nine. Is he plus one? He is. is he plus one. From what? Um, oh, he's not anywhere yeah, here. Yeah. Near I'm that, sorry. Right? Yeah, no, okay. he's just regular. Yeah. So just regular. Yeah, my bad. Either way, Regardless. it would have yeah. matched. But okay, um, so I'm gonna pick that guy over <coughs> there. He's gonna reroll unmodified hit rolls of six and save rolls of six. All right. Make sure, I have that right. Unmodified hit roll. Yep. Okay. Um, let's go and do uh, Mystic Shield from Arcan. I got a seven, eight, nine. You have one more stop, correct? Yeah, from him. Okay. He's in range. Uh, a nine again. Mm -hmm. Man, you're rolling high. What's your last one? Shield wall? Be that or no. Um, I mean, I can do empower Naderite weapons here. Um, I can do mortal contract, which would be any damage you do to me for the rest of the game as D3 mortal wounds, potentially. To him and himself? No, it'd be to a target I pick. Um, I can also do this. So. But Mystic Shield's fine. Okay, so Mystic Shield here. Mm -hmm. And then let's go ahead and cast this. I got oh, a nine, man. Or I'm sorry, 9, 10, 11. It's hoping for a low roll. Man, I would have unbound the... Tried. I would have unbound the Mystic Shield too. So dropping 18 now. And I'm going to automatically move it because we're at the end of the phase. Okay. And I'll go 8 from here. Right there. Cool, and then going into movement, right? sir. Coming to the end of my movement here, I just moved away from these monsters over here. Um, moved Arcan with a run and a bonus point um, 20 inches to nice. here. Moved these guys up and gave them their point to be able to reroll charges. Um, otherwise. Which you did do at the end of the hero phase, it just wasn't on camera. Yes. It's a weird phase thing. Um, and then otherwise, everything else, I mean, that, that there's much left, but. I've got two um, relentless discipline points. The only thing I didn't do is redeploy, sure. which, which I did want to do. Yeah, go ahead. I had walked away for a minute, guys, while he was doing his movement face, so now we'll do it on camera. So I will spend a point to redeploy this guy. Yes, sir. Two. two. So, not going far. All right, so I'll need a five. Basically just going to go this way and pop down. Yep. Okay. Um, and then <clears> I will charge with uh, my stalkers. Actually, I'm sorry, I'll shoot. So... Um, Stalker shoot? Yes. No. Um, oh, the, the, the catapults. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what do they do? Throw like the little arms underneath? They just like chuck their blades. <laughs> um, That'd be hilarious. Let's draw out some command points here. Um, so we'll put this one into that stone horn there, I suppose. You're putting that into the stone horn? Yes, sir. Um, we will all out defense. Be saving on twos. They, they're elite, right? So they can give their own command points themselves? Yes, they can. Oh. And I have voice of the avalanche anyway. Copy. Um, so I don't know if you want to do that because I will be on a two. I'm just trying to... I mean, the command point is what I was after. Um, not that it really matters. Um, we'll be at threes. Yeah, I should. I got to kill the unit. So we'll put it there. Okay. Well, then it'll go on them instead. Yes, sir. <coughs> All hits. And one wounds. Three. Got us. Uh, we'll spend the point here for the four. And um, probably put that. No, that's there. I can put that there. 
Oh, did I tell you we ordered custom dice for the tournament? You did not. Yeah, pretty cool. I'll show you when we get off here. Um, how many did he take? Seven. Seven? Uh, it's not enough to kill him. 20 damage. I mean, 20 would kill him, oh, right? Oh, no, it'd be 27. Yeah, never mind. I can't, um, I can't math good. <laughs> that guy dies there. I'll go here. Okay. All hit. And three to wound. Three wound. All right. Force. Got to make a few saves here to keep them around. Save one. So 10 damage. So one dude will be on two. That's that. Okay. Um, and that will be shooting, so charges. I have the stalkers over there. They get to reroll the charge because of that command point from the start. Eight. That'll do it. Fine. Oh, this is the, uh, I have to reroll saves or whatever. Got him. Let's see. The big swords have two inch. I don't know if the catapults are good. They're I, they're not. They don't seem like it. No, I had a. Th they were terrifying in 2.0. <laughs> yeah, I had a theory about them, and that was just to try to pull the command points. But now that I need to take the turn, you're getting the bottom of the turn. You have the extra. And what do they cost? Like 200, 200 something. 200. Yeah. 200. Yeah. Like just having like more more tech or something seems better. I mean, I don't think more tech are good though either. Yeah, it, the book's struggling. Yeah, a bit. So that'll keep coherency there. Although Bill Souza's list at the uh, well, GT was pretty good. That one's that one operates. It plays a different game, I think, entirely. It does. And that will do that, and then I'll be able to get five in. You still get to pile in. Yeah, but I have to keep coherency when I do so. Yeah, but can't you just like scooch this guy in and maintain coherency? I don't know how it'll be possible with those. Oh yeah, that might be hard. The only reason. Yeah, because they're not battle line like, in this list. Right. Um, so, with that stated, um, I don't have a command point to necessarily give them except for the rend. So I do have to choose their um, battle aspect, but you have a monstrous reaction first. I do. Um, is there any point in roaring them? Do they get anything into the combat So I can, I can push that rend up one more point. Yeah, we'll roar. Okay, you will. Roar! Alright, so I will not be able to give them a command point in this turn, which is fine. Um, their battle aspect will be... Um, it's called precision aspect and improve the rend and damage characteristic of their melee weapons by one. So, scary. Yeah, they're pretty okay. I will all out defense. All my right. last command point, and then I still have my free one if I need it. Yeah. Which so I don't see why I will. But um, with that stated, the dread falchion will make three attacks. Probably should have finest houred here. Looking back. Potentially, yeah. Instead of the unbind, but. Um, dread falchion makes three attacks. These are now going to be threes and threes. Okay. Uh, hitting with two and wounding with one and that will be three ren three damage so two goes to five no okay and then i'll have these are what saves four um spirit swords which are five attacks apiece yeah starting to think i should have finest hour but um, these will be twos and threes <laughs> you live and you learn my famous motto you got a two in there. They're, two, they're twos. Oh, twos. Okay. I didn't hear you. Because of the plus one from the Oh, yeah, the shrieker. the shrieker. And these will be threes to wound. So, so five, nine of those. And these are two rend, one damage. Or two rend, two damage. So it's be fours. Oh, good roll. Nice roll. So three go through, you said two damage? Yes, sir. So six total, so nine total goes through. Yep. That's that. And then five's two. Ward save. Yep. Say one, two, three. So six damage goes through, so we'll be at ten. <laughs> ten taken out of seventeen, so he will be bracketed. And then there's nothing else to do, so... Uh, he will pile in. Let's pile in backwards, I suppose. Oops, knocked your guy over. It's all good. <clears throat> all 
All right. Uh, he did not charge, so he will not get the plus one damage any longer. The Frost Spear doesn't really matter. Oh, that the Frost Spear only works on heroes and monsters. I didn't realize that earlier. We didn't do anything with it, so. It still attacks, just the uh, ability doesn't. Okay. Not that I triggered it or anything. So this will be threes and threes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, just one. One at minus one. Um, so they're going to ignore that point, and they have that Mystic Shield. Yep. So they'll be at a three up. Failing. Th three damage. Three, okay. Pun punches and kicks, threes. Hit with all, threes. Wound with two, no end. Threes. One damage. Okay. And then Rock Hard Horns, I am bracketed, so I have four attacks now. So this will be fours. Ew, nothing. D6 attacks. Four, so this will be threes. Ooh, man, he, he's not rolling hot this time. And then wounding on threes, so nothing. Nothing on the big attacks, wow. Uh, well. Four dice, four damage, five or six up wards. Saving one, I'll have a guy who'll still be alive. Wow, whiffed hard that time. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter, because regardless when one dies, it'll keep coherency from there, so. Um, did I explain that I picked this as the Proving Ground? You I don't did. I did? I think okay. so. Yeah, I, I don't know if we talked about it on camera, but I picked this as a Proving Ground to try and burn it again. Just trying to get rid of him in case it matters late game. Failed my battle tactic. Oh, yeah, you did. Uh, that's uh, a big deal. I do control... No, I don't control that because you're well, Kano's 10, yeah? Yeah, yeah Kano's 10. Yeah. And that doesn't bracket or anything, so... Yeah. Um, you'll have two. Two. So two points. Give me in. So OBR, end of round three. Um, whoop, I accidentally put three, but two points. So it'll be 12 to 10 going into Beast Claw round three. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out a battle tactic. Back with uh, Beast Claw, round, end of round three. This is going to be gaining momentum. I'm going to try and blow up that catapult in the back there. See if I can pull that off. I'd be very surprised if I couldn't. And then for my, um, whatchamacallit, I'm going to finest hour this time. Um, or I might just pull him out of combat. Because if I pull him out, he didn't really do much anyway. Because they're still buffed. And then if I get the double, I can charge back in, do mortal wounds, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So you don't yeah. lose the objective. Yeah, I don't so lose the objective, so I'm not going to use finest hour. So let's just do a command point because I'm at one right now. So got it. I have, I have never hit this many in a row. So it's on the voice of the avalanche. Sure, sure. Um, let's go ahead and I've got five dice for five units. Uh, getting one extra, so I'll be at two. Points. And then you got a heroic. Um, my heroic action will be finest hour. Okay. I have a finest hour token right here for you. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Courtesy of the Michigan GT. All right, let's uh, cast one spell. Um, go with flaming weapon this time. Yeah. Nine. Uh, can I stop it? I think I'm. You should be in range. Mm, looks good. Yeah, looks fine to me. Okay. Let's do. Uh, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's move some stuff. Move some stuff. Retreated here, which is weird. Beast Claw's retreating. <laughs> uh, move these guys over here because this is basically my alpha, and that's his alpha for the whole game. Because I've not yet had alpha actually matter. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had it matter in any games? If you can teleport, it matters a lot, but none of our armies really do that, so... Yeah. Uh, Mornfang moved over here. Originally, my thinking was to, like, prevent redeploying out of my way, but I forgot they don't redeploy anyway. Yeah, I don't do that. Uh, Big Drog moved up. This dude, this dude moved up. So now we're on shooting. So we've got one pistol shot into your... Uh, well, he's my battle tactic, so we'll do it into him. So fours, hits, and threes. Yes, minus one. Uh, minus one, so it'll still be at fours. Mainly. D3. Three. Nice. Yeah, Six rolled is. good on that one. Yep, take all three. Big drog shooting into the catapult. So this will be, um, is it threes and twos again? Okay. Hits. And wounds. You want me to re-roll that? Good. Uh, three rend, yeah? <coughs> uh, yeah, three rend. So ignore the first point. I'll be at sixes. Four damage. Sixes again. Taking all four. And then we got Seven on. charges. We'll start with the Stonehorn in the back over there. This one can't charge. He retreated. Six. Good to me. 
That should be enough. Would you mind moving that for me? Yeah, I can do that. And then mortal wounds into um, the catapult. Yeah. So fours, three, four, nope, three. Three of them. I'm looking, they have a 12. You said three? Yes. Sixes, saving one, taking two of those. And then big drog's gonna try a charge. Need a long one. And I think an eight will do it. That's good. Yep. Would you mind moving him into your general there, please? And then we'll charge that morn thing in. Yes, sir. Six will do it. And then he does it on sixes. Don't forget his as well. Uh, one mortal wound, and then I have something for big drog, which I have to look up. Uh, take the one extra. Do you know how his works off the top of your head? Uh, I do not. Okay. Oh, good. I still have it up on my phone. Um, crushing charge. Two up if that unit is a monster or D6 if it's not a monster. So uh, either way, it goes on a two. Cool. Yep. Got D6. it. So D6. Two. Two. Sixes. Saving <laughs> Nice. I needed box to save one. Box cars. Yeah. Uh, that was into the Liege Cavalry. Yes, sir. Anyway. So. If I saved one of them, then I would have taken still none as well. So that was good. Um, how many wounds are left on your catapult? Uh, he has taken 10. It's got two left. I'm just going to put the stone horn into it. Sure. But whether it's right or wrong, I don't want to whiff on well, something. Well, do you have a, I mean, is there any reason why you don't put the Morn Fang into it? I guess I could try it with the Morn Fang and then I can stone horn because in Big Drog. Because it's not drog. like the stone horn. Yeah, I know. I thought, right? yeah, I thought about that. So. Stone horn's clean, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think he has the damage to be able to do that. I got tusks and clubs and hackers. So yeah. Well, thank you for mentioning that. We'll do that. So um, Morn Fang's going first. So we'll go threes and threes. And um, threes. And actually, I have one more. This is the leader. Okay. So uh, threes. Nope. So two of them at minus one. Uh, so. Knowing that, saving both. <laughs> There's not a downside to it. I, I know there's not really. Fours. Uh, hit with all. And threes. Two. Two. Minus one. Not that it matters. Uh, four still. Saving both of those. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't really matter because at the end yeah, of the day, he's not gonna kill whoever him. you activate can do it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so uh, I'm going to shoot for a miracle and see if I can put every single point of damage, which I cannot. I'm going to give myself... Or, I'm sorry. Monsters react. Rampages. Oh shoot! Yeah, just thank you for reminding me constantly. I remembered them the last game I played in. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Roar ham stomp him. I got the 3d6 thing, which is basically a, a, a better stomp. Um, yeah, it's enough. Five over, five back. Yep, yep. And then uh, on a two for the catapult. Yes. Yes. D3. Yeah. Two. Uh, sixes. See ya. Oh. So that was easy enough. So that happened. Yeah. The, yeah, that happened before could, I even yeah. attacked. And then uh, two on the liege. Yes. D three. One. One. Uh, sixes. Failing it, but I ignore it. All right. So instead, I'm starting with yes. the stone horn. Thanks, guys, for being patient as I learn a new army. <laughs> um, I will auto attack there because I got two command points. Yes, sir. And it's the end of the round. So this will be twos. Ooh, snake eyes. Did you roar me? Um, oh, no, I didn't. Yep. Easy. And then threes. Um, you're going to be minus one attack if you survive. So this will be two attacks. They're one in one, so you'll just be native save. Uh, so I will be best aid, three up. Yep. So I'll be at a two up. Taking one of those. Uh, three damage. Sixes. <clears throat> and then this does work because I rolled an unmodified wound roll. Um, of six, it'll subtract one from his attack profile. Yeah. And then punches and kicks, uh, twos and threes, and threes. Two of them, no rend. Uh, twos, saving. And then six attacks from the horns, threes. Miss one. Five. And threes. Uh, three go through at minus two. Uh, so. Back to threes. Back to threes. Saving. Okay. And then D6 attacks. Three. This would be twos and twos. Yes. And all minus one, not that it matters. Twos. 
Saved. Cool. There right. we go. Uh, that was the Stonehorn. I guess I'll fight the giant then. And then we'll all defense him. Yes, sir. So minus one attack, correct? Yes, minus one attacks from the Frostlord Spear. And I'm roared, so I can't give myself plus one attack. Nope. So I will have two attacks with my Commander's Blade now at threes and threes. Both hit and none wound. And then the Natterite Battle Shield will make one. I assume it's to a, a minimum of one attack? Yeah. Okay. Uh, threes and fours. I don't think there's I, any abilities that go to zero. I don't think so either. And then I'll have six horse bites at threes and threes. And threes. Uh, three saves for you on the giant at Ren 1. Fail them all. One damage. Uh, yeah. Goes up to 10. Um, this guy has taken three. He's going to ignore that first point. Yes. So I will not be able to ignore any further damage this phase. All right. Um, death grip. If it's an enemy monster. So it doesn't do anything special. Almighty stomp does not work on him either. And we're just going to regular attacks then. So almighty stomp, threes. And threes. Nope. And then death grip, threes. Nope. And then <laughs> fork, fork rush of flail. This will be fours and threes. Three of them go, th or four of them go through, and then threes to wound. <laughs> One. One at minus three. Uh, so plus two, or I'm sorry, ignoring the first point of end, plus one to my saves. So minus one, I will be at a four up save. Save. Cool. Oh, whiffed hard on that guy. This dude's a little tank. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just literally took a thousand points of monster hard hitting character units yeah. and did not die. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I, got, I got the Mornfang, so I'll pile him in. You, you rolled his attacks though already. Oh, that's actually saved him on that. Oh, that's so true. We'll just say, yeah, we'll just say, them, yeah. pile them in here. Yeah, we'll just pile them. In. That's fine. And I I make, that makes sense yeah, since you let me go back and do the yep. other stuff. So, um, I will score my, my battle tactic and five points total. Uh, yeah, that's good. One, two, three, four, five. So, end of round three, we got 15 Beast Claw, 12 for OBR, and now we have a big priority roll. Two. It's going to be your choice. Yeah, I think I have to maintain it. I agree. Otherwise, it's going to continue. I, I think it looks bleak either way. I agree. But yeah, let's go into round four, OBR. Battle round four. All right, so in my hero phase, I'm going to take Desecrate. Uh, I'm going to go there, yes. Um, and then the I will get four Relentless Discipline points for my heroes. And taking the top of the turn, I will have four dice to roll, getting no bonuses. And my heroic action will be a point, or a free point here with Arkin. So I'm either Finest Houring or Healing. I think Finest Hour is probably better. What do, you, do you agree with that? I'm going to do it, and, yeah. then, and then I'm going to ask you. Yeah, I mean, it's probably better because I'm still going to want to go there. Right. Um, just because I need to try to I And need then to this thing's gone, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so Finest Hour there. Yeah. It's always debatable, like if I heal a three, if I do a one, then Finest Hour is clearly better. I just yeah. think in most scenarios it's better, especially since he already has a three up save. Sure. Um, and then Arcan himself is going to pull off those wounds on um, the Stalkers there. Um, I believe there's three on, and he yeah. can heal up to three. Um, and this is on four separate summonable units, uh, which I want to confirm that they are summonable before I do that. Um, they're not, so actually you can't heal them. All right, take it back. Okay, easy enough. Uh, moving forward, uh, casting spells with Arcan. Uh, I'm sorry, we'll do this, and I'll put the minus one here. Yep. Or try to, anyways. Uh, actually, I can do, now that I'm within range, let's go minus one to hit on this guy. Okay. On a four up this time. No. <laughs> Dude, your, your terrain piece loves the yeah, number the one. Yeah, terrain is not. He's best. like, I am number one. I'm the tallest point on the battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got my free point with my heroic action. I've got my relentless discipline. You've got your command points. Um, did you do your heroic action? Yes, yeah, finest hour. Finest hour. All right, let's go into casting. Um, I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to try to cast Curse of Years oh after I spend God. this point. Um, to let's do it. This will be fun. The range. So I hope you kill my mega with the Curse of Years because yeah. that would just be epic. 
sweet. <laughs> There's no, like, I think the math works out to you should always just arcane bolt. It's just better. Yeah. Um, but where's the fun in that? So, Curse of Years from Arcan, uh, cast on a six. I have a 24 inch range now on it. So, uh, four, I got a six. All right, I'm going for this one. <laughs> My one, like, yeah. legit shot to try and unbind a spell. Okay, um, so with a 24 That's hilarious. inch range, You're uh, there. I think I'm going to put, yeah, I'm just going to do the mega. So, I roll six dice, I'm sorry, ten dice, and every six up, um, will be a mortal wound on him, and okay. then it fall, and then I re-roll those dice, and they go to five ups. Yep. On and on. If I roll a one, the dice is gone. So the what it, it can come down to is either me rolling ones or your dude dying. Um, cool. If you have a ward save, which I don't believe he does, he, he doesn't. A ward save would counteract that. I did forget to do the end of combat mortal wounds thing, but it's just one dice, so we're okay. good. I just were saying it to remind me for sure, this turn. Sure. Um, so I've got ten dice here, and we'll see how many sixes. His breath. Uh, I got two sixes. Okay. So you'll take two mortal wounds on the mega, and then these will fall to fives or better, of which I got none. All so right. two mortal wounds. Like I said, it's, no, it's almost, like basically an arcane bolt. Yeah, it's almost inherently better to cast an arcane bolt. Yeah. Um, anyways. But if you can roll good dice. True. Yeah. If if you just roll better. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's. That's go your famous to, saying, right? Just roll better. Right. Or is it pick up your toys and go home? No. Roll better. Oh, roll better. I need to roll better this game. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do. Um, let's do. Um, Mystic Shield. That'll do it. Sweet. And then let's go ahead and do. Um, Where's the Mystic Shield going? That's going to go on these guys. Makes sense. And then let's go and do um, protection of Nagash, I suppose, with Arcan. Uh, Twelve again. Again, wow, that's well, fourteen row. actually. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, so that has to go on Arcan himself. What's it do? So that one, if he he has a mortal wound ward now, of oh, five okay. up, and if he takes any damage, he can teleport. Oh, cool. Um, so with that stated, let's go ahead and uh, that'll be hero phase. So let's move. All right, so that's it for movement. I got the Liege Cavalos out of danger, at least for now. Uh, moved Arkan up to one, hold the Desecrate to take that objective. And then I moved the Stalkers up to engage with the Stonehorn once more. I chose not to redeploy because if I hold this, it prevents a point. Yeah. Um, and then I will have three shots with the Crawler and we'll see how she goes. Um, see how she goes, eh? Yeah. <sighs> I would love for it to just kill a unit outright. Would be pretty sweet. I think I'm out of range of them. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's like an inch in front of the base. But I'll measure from here just to make sure. Is it within 40? 40? Yeah. If I just move him up four. Because I didn't yeah. move them yet. Oh, yeah. If you haven't moved it yet, then move it up. I'll just move them four. Yeah, because they're only one inch away. So now it's in range. Yeah, so now I'll just take the three over there and <coughs> see if I can... All out defense. Yeah, man. I'll hit. And two wound. Not enough. Make one. Five damage. Not enough. Oh, well. Does it kill one? Oh, Should five damage? Yeah, just five. Oh. I was used to putting yeah. ten on them. <laughs> um, okay. That's so. that, so we'll go to charges uh, with the stalkers <coughs> over there. We need a three. They got a four. Do you want me to move them for you? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Because you'll still only get five in, no matter how you arrange it, right? I think so. Uh, maybe not, though, because, yeah, it'll just be four now. Because the only reason I got the five was because of this lip. Oh, gotcha. Um, so four. Uh, I'll have three spirit swords. Um, actually... Monstrous Reactions. Yep, Monstrous Rampages. So we'll do a uh, Roar. Mm -hmm. No, no Roar. All right, and I will go ahead and... Um, and then I will all out defense when you decide to choose to attack. Yes, sir. I will do the... And I have Finest Hour. Copy. I will do the um, 
precision aspect again, which is the rend and the damage. Makes sense. Um, and then I will be able to spend a point on them to push the rend up a point. So, and I'll just do that now because it doesn't matter. Yep. Um, so I have 15 spirit swords. I wonder if I should have maw potted last turn. He would have been in range. Hmm. Uh, 15 spirit swords. These will be hitting on twos, wounding on threes now. Again, because of the yep. streaker. Uh, five saves for you. These will be rend three now. Okay, so finest hour and all at the fence. So three goes to one, and then minus three rend, so it'll be back to fours. Mm -hmm. so five of them, you said? Yes, sir. So fours. Ooh, fail four. Um, so those are two apiece on those. Even with a four up save. So that's eight damage. Five, then six, seven, eight wards. The dread falchion. Oh, you might get them. <clears throat> Maybe it's too many too many rounds of combat. I think, but uh, the dread falchion. He's only tanks. got seven remaining. Yeah. Threes and threes. Yeah. Not like that. And threes. Not like that. Okay, that's it, man. Well, I need to make two. Okay. Oh boy! Come on, five up wards. Give me some fives. Oh, I made a bunch. Nice. I made four. Nice. Kept them around. I think that'll probably do it for me. Yeah, I think that's the game. Um, yeah, I mean, we can play this out if you want to, but I think we can probably call that a no, game. No, if, if I'm not scoring more there, it's not going to work out. So yeah, good game. Fun game, man. Thanks for bringing the OBR. Absolutely. And look forward to having you on uh, again soon. For sure. And uh, for those that watch, thanks for watching. And you know, we have that big tournament coming up. So if you feel like traveling, we did get a hotel block, 72 person, and we're gonna have uh, some pretty cool prizes. Full size Stormcast shield will be the grand prize. Real, real shield. Nice. <laughs> Catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more AOS content.